Yeah, two headlines, Greg. Today went fine. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't great. And then we're still on track for a 5 a.m. reopen tomorrow of northbound I-5 uh, through downtown. Today did not look good on paper because you had three big events, this one big closure through downtown. But on the roads, it played out pretty well, not terrible. WatchDot says we'll have to do this all over again next month. Drivers did a great job of finding someplace else to go. We did see some real heavy backups on 405, saw backups on 99, 509, 599, but drivers chose to do something else. They took loads and they were prepared. So they planned for extra time apparently. It looks like we had a pretty good weekend with the drivers. We're gonna need another good one in July though because if drivers revert to their old patterns in July, we're going to see heavy backups then. See the crews working on the expansion joint right over here. That uh, revive I-5 revival, let's call it, that's going to be back uh, July 14th and 15th. So we're going to have to be doing this all over again because uh, this weekend construction crews worked on two of the four lanes. So next month, they're gonna be working on the other two lanes. Now, I don't know if you saw this over here, but I-5 South, that is the one that we're actually seeing some ball game traffic and some of uh, more traffic than what we're actually seeing on I-5 North because people are just staying away. They're heeding WashDOT's warning. So that is a, a fairly good thing. It's definitely not what we expected, Greg. So uh, yeah, a little bit, uh, little bit different from what we expected out here. All right, let's hope it goes smoothly the rest of the weekend. Ryan, thank you. And for all the information on closures and detours, go to the King 5 app or check king5.com.